So I graduated and I didn't take you guys with me at all because I got burnt out in the second year. If only if I had like some kind of like screen recording or something of like my final moments of the uh, university. And we're off home. This is a stunning show of Sam uploading their files for the final year project. Find those files. If you don't find them, then you haven't got your grade. Riveting stuff, folks, as those loading files upload all those files. And, of course, you cannot forget the declaration, otherwise it won't upload. Whoa, what a riveting screen recording. And uh, what did I get out of it? Um, a, a piece of paper. Um, a chocolate coin directly from Dawn French. Um... A lot of debt, the obligation to pay council tax, and the need to now have a job to survive. Great. <laughs> Why are we still here? Just to suffer. God, do you think they can tell that I didn't have any sleep last night? For real though, I had such a great time at university. Not only did I get to learn my craft from some of the coolest people ever, I'm especially talking about you, Kelly. But I also got to learn some really important life skills and lessons. Some of them came easy and were nice to learn, and others not so much. But it made the entire thing better. And I've tried to record all of them in this book. I mean, it's not done yet. I've still got like a lot of photos to go like, this is chunky. There are like so many memories in here, or spontaneous trips to the beach. To the many comic cons that we went to along the way. To the many times that we dressed up like pirates. Or like the time when I had to repaint my room because I said screw it and just hammered stuff into my walls to make it look good. To like, oh my god, when did I go to Greg's and get all that cake? Like, come on! <laughs> it's like, I'm trying to condense like three years of lived experience into just a five to ten minute video. And I'm, I'm not quite sure how to do that. I, I've just got like a random burst of inspiration to make this video today. Like, I could tell you all about the peaks and valleys of my experience. I could tell you guys the story about how I intervened into a domestic abuse situation. Or the time when... I lost one of my best friends because of an argument that I started. Or the hurricane of going through university while my parents are going through a divorce. Or the, the plain old drama of housemates. But you don't want to hear all that. <laughs> I guess for now I would just have to leave it at... I've made some lifelong experiences and some absolutely brilliant friends that I hope to keep with me for life. And it all happened down in the small town of Falmouth. Also, I wanted to make this video like right after I gave them my final files in May. And got a first. But so many things happened in between that and this video being made sometime mid-August. So right off the bat, I literally had it in the files. Next day, I got a brief to work on a website design gig. I'd never really done website design before apart from my own portfolio and I thought this was really cool because it was with my mate's company where he was making awesome robots. So I was like, I've got to give this a go. And then it was my birthday and you've kind of got to give me that break at least. I've been going full pelt and then I was like, I need a break. And we went out to the Sea Shanty Festival that just coincided with my birthday somehow and I had a really good time. I didn't really get a break straight after my birthday uh, because I had to go and move out of my third year house. But I mean, I didn't get a chance to move into my new house straight away because I went down to London. Uh, to go join the New Blood Festival, which is sort of like the biggest kind of like creative slash advertising conference for like new talent, which is where I did my first ever media interview with a person called Shola West. As a creative, what do you do when you experience creative block? 
So I've probably got two things I potentially do. One is I've got this YouTube channel that I only watch pretty much now when I need something to hype me up. Like I find something that hypes you up and just go, get it flowing. Even people not in industry, I've found. Like I'll just talk to my mum and my sister. She has no idea what advertising is. And we'll just be like, oh, but what if you did that? Yeah. And I'm like, that is genius. So yeah, talk to as many people as possible, especially outside of the industry, and find a way to hype yourself up. Yeah. It was also at this conference that I got the opportunity de to debut my new business cards. Hang on, let me show them. Which I think look awesome as hell. Will you focus camera? There we go. And the back's pretty cool as well. It's got my name on and stuff like that. As well as my brand new website, which I taken all the skills I learned from making James's website to onto my one. And it looks great. Um, if you're looking for new creatives, uh, the website is linked in the description. Give me a call. Bay and London also gave me the opportunity to try out doing some street photography, which is all on my Instagram. Again, link in the description. Why am I... Do why am I linking to my Instagram? YouTube analytics tells me that everyone comes from social media. So everyone I've just linked to my Instagram has already come from there. Oh my God, why is this so hard? Then I headed back to Cornwall to move into this house and I think it looks pretty good. Then I uh, graduated, uh, which is a bit mental. Uh, grabbed my coin from uh, Dawn French and then Michael was actually conga lined out of the graduation ceremony. We were the only people that did anything interesting or fun like that. Uh, so I think that just means we're the coolest. I, I'm sorry, guys. We just are. It was then at this point that I did another media interview, which is a bit weird. But this time it was for Falmouth University. Um, yeah, have a clip. Falmouth because I got a few recommendations uh, from a few mates and a few family friends and I checked it out in person and it just clicked with me. I just loved the place, I loved the lecturers and it just seemed like a lot of fun. And uh, I guess that kind of catches you up to everything that's kind of been going on. Um, hopefully I don't take another year to make a video but I recently modded Skyrim and I might be playing that a lot. I guess we'll see. Um, I how how outro.